What's going on guys? Welcome back to Gotti's Garage. I got my daughter Serena with me. Can you say hi? Hi. All right, so today as the title stated, we are going to go pick up some tires. Um, it's about an hour drive. I am currently at Costco in this giant line, which I always pick the wrong line to get gas, but uh, 355 a gallon compared to, you know, like almost $4 a gallon everywhere else. So you can't really beat that. So we're gonna go ahead, fill this truck up, and then we're gonna go take a long drive, which you guys won't see probably any of that. But uh, we're gonna take a long drive, go pick up the uh, 35 by 12 and a half by 20s. They are used tires, they were free given to me. That way I can actually see if I want to use these tires or go with 33s. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. I'm really big on the appearance of my truck. So I wanna make sure that the tires are going to, you know, look decent and not just oversized like i'm a try hard so stay tuned make sure you hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and don't forget about our five thousand dollar giveaway which i'll enter in right now don't forget about our five thousand subscriber giveaway here is a brand new never used in the box doubled in car stereo with gps subwoofer outputs and even a rear backup camera comes with everything free of charge to you all you have to do is hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up Take a screenshot of it or a picture if you're using your TV and send it over to the underscore Gotti's Garage on Instagram. And that 5,000 subscribers, one of you lucky ones, will be chosen at random. And then you get to enjoy a brand new double gen car radio from Gotti's Garage. So enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, we got the tires They're not in the greatest shape. Just trying to get attacked by some turkeys. This one's got some there in the middle but it's all right so we got two loaded up we got two more to go hoping that my truck scared the turkeys away a little bit but that didn't happen all right guys we just did that little tiny burnout because we we're by some houses and i didn't really want to piss anybody off but uh we probably got to do a lot bigger one to finish these tires off she's waving we are out in the middle of absolutely nowhere, but if we find a secluded road or maybe closer to home or something like that, then we will uh, do a pretty pretty big size burnout so we can get a little bit more smoke. That was pretty cool. It definitely it kicked into second gear, which is awesome. Uh, maybe I'll put it in manual mode next time, see if I can't get to third gear while it's burning out. But yeah, so now is our journey home. All right, guys, we made it back, and these are the conditions of the tires. Not too bad. They got some, like, little chunk missing right here. I mean, not too bad. But this will at least give me an idea. This one's very bad, actually. But uh, this will at least give me an idea of if I want 35s or 33s. So these are made in 16. It is now 2022. But these are, if you can see that. These are 35, 12 and a half by 20s. So I got a two and a half inch level and two and a half inch wheel spacers on this truck. So they should clear just fine. I just don't know how big they are. Like, are they gonna fill up this gap so it looks kind of stupid or are they not? Cause these height wise are almost 33s. They're like just under 33. So I don't know, we'll see.
Looks like it's doing the reverse dog. No. Looks like it, it does look like it's squatting. It does, doesn't it? it looks yeah. like it squats in the rear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You have to take your spacer back and trim it down. Why does it look like the fronts are sticking out more in the rear? Because it is. Well, two and a half inch spacers. Oh, yeah, look at that. You get your doing the. No, no, we're talking about like this. You stand back here and look. It looks like the back end squatted more than the front. It's because the rear, the, because that rear tire fills up the rear well too much compared to the front. Because the shop's uneven? The shop's uneven. Yeah, it looks way better. You don't even notice the difference. You go. That one's paints a lot. You need to give this thing some TLC when you look at the one next to it. <laughs> That one looks like it just got some new car wash. And this thing actually looks really nice when I wash it. I just you got all this rust starting right here, so don't wash it so you don't know it. Yeah. It's gonna rub right freaking there. Everything else is good though. So as you guys saw in the last video, the tires do rub at full lock. Just on the back right here in this plastic area. But uh, it's nothing crazy or anything. Just driving down the road, nothing rubs. And they look amazing. So these are the uh, Wrangler Goodyear um, MTRs. And they're definitely loud. They're Kevlar. And these are obviously used. So I'm not sitting there trying to say they're the best tires in the world. But they are very smooth driving down the road. They are loud. A lot of road noise. And it definitely makes the truck look way more aggressive than normal. Definitely pretty happy with these. I think I'll definitely be buying some 35s instead of 33s. That's what I was worried about. Um, I'm going to get a car wash and get all this washed up and stuff, make it look nice. I don't know if we'll add some glamour shots in this video or not. But my speedometer is going to be off by like 3 miles an hour or something like that. So we're going to have to make a video on how to show you how to do that with uh, Alpha OBD. So guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I uh, hope to see you next time. Real quick guys, just to end the video, I'm gonna show you the tire noise. I don't know if you can hear it or not. It's just a pretty good winding, that's all. Sounds pretty good in my opinion, I like it.